It's me, Bussy, and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be breaking my bank account again and subscribing to the OnlyFans of Milk, Dahlia Sin, and Ariel Versace. I'll be reviewing and reacting to their content live with you and then letting you know at the end of each section whether I think their content is hot or rat. First up, she invented the Brat Style Makeup Challenge. Kind of. It's Ariel Versace. But first, a quick message from today's video sponsor, Swagbucks, an awesome way to earn some extra spending money for this holiday season by watching videos, taking research surveys, shopping online, or even playing games from the comfort of your own couch or bed. No judgment. Maybe you're wanting a new phone case, saving up for a digital camera, or even thinking about purchasing your first affordable lace front wig from Amazon.com. Well, I've got great news for you. You can easily redeem your Swagbucks for things like Amazon.com gift cards or even cold hard PayPal cash. I just signed up and used their Amazon shopping portal to earn swag bucks purchasing things I was already planning on buying. Now that's what you call a win-win situation. Click my link in the description box of this video to start earning and get an extra $5 bonus when you take your first survey. Seriously, it's that easy. So click the link in the description and start earning right now. Thank you so much to swag bucks for sponsoring today's video. Now let's get back to it. You know, seeing her name again post season 12 made me think about how Jan and Broda had to both change their names due to copyright, but Ariel got to keep Versace in her name for her season. Anyways, I had heard rumors that Ariel had an OnlyFans floating around the mill, but it was actually really hard to find. Back in April 15th of this year, Ariel actually posted on her drag Twitter account saying, what's OnlyFans? It was obviously a premeditated tongue in cheek joke because like two weeks later, a new account called Brian Phillip appeared as his boy persona advertising his OnlyFans. But other than that one little joke before he actually created his OnlyFans, Brian, AKA Ariel Versace, literally does not talk about OnlyFans anywhere on Instagram. Instagram or Twitter. It's just a very different approach than pretty much every other drag queen from the franchise has taken. I don't know, whatever. I'm not her manager. Let's get into the content. Immediately we see that there are 131 posts and for $8.99, that is a really good deal. Like that is a lot of content. I'm gonna go ahead and click subscribe for $8.99. Okay, so post number one says morning shower. Y'all. <laughs> Ariel should change her drag name to like Ariel Cake Versace because this girl, she got some cake, okay? There is some cake. There are some buns on this one, my God. A little bit disappointed with this first item because that exact photo was posted on the Brian Phillip Twitter account. Even people that are successful and have great profiles, why do you cross post content like this? It seems like you would want to censor some out to like lead people to the profile, but then to post the exact same thing on the OnlyFans profile is a little confusing to me. Okay, the next post is a video. Had to get this <gasps> filled. <gasps> God. Cakes are so great with icing. See, but I'm wondering, did they post that on Twitter as well? That was an exclusive. That was an exclusive video. Two little two minute video. Oh, okay. So Ariel makes content with their partner and also by themselves. And then also with friends, which we have a little group, little group setting, little group games. I always love to see creators collabing together. It's really sweet. Okay, next up, we've got a little shower moment. Miss Ariel, keeping clean. Keep your queens clean. Keep them in the soap, because you know you get so sweaty in all those performances, you need to take showers. This one was also posted to Twitter. And I'm not saying like what's on here isn't exclusive, because there is a lot of exclusive stuff, but you definitely get to see longer versions of what's being posted on Twitter and much more um, full versions. There is an interesting like level of engagement I would say I'm only seeing between like 5, 15, 20 likes or so, which is actually very atypical of any drag queen that has an OnlyFans account. This may be the least subscribed OnlyFans content profile of any drag queen I've reviewed. I'm actually kind of shocked, but also not because Ariel basically keeps it a secret. Like where is she advertising it? She's not. We also do get to see why the last name Versace is used in her name. <laughs> Versace underwear on both Brian, AKA Ariel and the partner. That's a really cute little matching set actually. Wow, this is wild. Oh my goodness. There's definitely a top cake layer and a bottom cake layer in this relationship, if you know what I'm saying. And girl, Ariel's got all that cake for a reason, let me tell you that. Overall, I can't say I'm too mad about what we saw on here. Again, there's a lot of content, truly, like you really get to see the cake from every angle. There's lots of icing. They make cakes with friends. They make cakes by themselves with their partner. So there's a, a good variety, I think, on here of stuff. You're gonna be getting, it looks like, at least five to 10 new posts every single month. So that is probably more up to you, you know, depending on the person that you're subscribe to what you're expecting from them because I know some people post every single day, every other day. That said, if you want to see this cake get ice, it's definitely there for your consumption and it might give you a sweet tooth because there's a lot of cake. I'm going to say this profile is hot. 
Up next, if you're ready to sin a little bit more with me, it's Dahlia Sin from the House of Sin and Broccoli. <laughs> So from what I can tell, Dolly's OnlyFans has been active since July of this year. That would have been right after Drag Race wrapped up and everybody was maybe looking for that extra coin and OnlyFans was really ramping up in popularity. We get to see a really great little premeditated tweet for the creation of the profile. To do an OnlyFans or not to do an OnlyFans? That is the question. Just 10 days later on July 16th, a boy account going by House of Sin appeared asking, are you ready to sin? And on that boy account, Dolly's bio says, get into it, top 2% on OnlyFans, top <laughs> with the Girl, she ain't shy about nothing. For the <laughs> Wow, okay, the pinned tweet on this Twitter profile, y'all do not go to this profile if you aren't looking for that, cause woo! Did she lie? No, she didn't. Dolly is super, super active on this Twitter account and there is a lot of preview stuff posted. There's some little video clips, there's photos, there's all kinds of stuff and goodies. Vote today, don't forget to go out and vote today. 35% off on my OnlyFans. We love a queen that promotes democracy and body positivity in one post, wow. Anyways, this is Dolly's OnlyFans bio. Get into it. <laughs> the next line says, this account features endless streams of explicit content. Also, exclusive private photos of me you'll never see anywhere else. I respond to everyone. You can subscribe to Dolly's OnlyFans profile for a slightly higher premium of $13. She apparently is running a special 86 posts. Goodbye, $13. Hello, Sin. Okay, so the first post we did see post on Instagram, it is just a slightly larger extension of that little promo photo that they put for the Black Friday sale. And then next up, girl, we get right into the bathtub. These Queens love to stay clean, and I love that for them. Okay, we've got some little blue jogger shorts. Okay, that was weird. That was like a two minute suspenseful video with no ending. Okay, another video here, but we saw very similar like things on Twitter. This just looks like Twitter preview content so far. Like the first couple of things literally, like were, hold on. Literally these first couple of posts on here, I'm a little disappointed, I'm not gonna lie. They were literally all on Twitter. Why are you gonna cross post non-exclusive content? I just don't understand that. Here we go. We have a full length video of a preview that was posted on Twitter. It looks like Dolly is hanging out with a stranger in a mask. Y'all ever seen that situation where there's like a hole in a wall? I mean, but hey, that was like a full 16 minute exclusive video. Girl, with this preview content, mama, come on. Literally, there's like a 36 second video on Twitter that is the exact same video on OnlyFans. And then it was posted like twice on OnlyFans. <sighs> How deep are we here? We've gone all the way through November and pretty much everything we've seen besides like a more full length video was posted on Twitter. Girl, where are the exclusives? Now we found a video that was a little bit longer than what was on Twitter and it includes the ending of the video we'll say on OnlyFans, but the meat of the video was on Twitter as well. Literally the video on here is what? Seven seconds longer? Is that worth $13 a month to you? I'll let you decide. I definitely understand the value in posting previews on Twitter and like people think definitely should be doing that to let people know what they're going to be expecting on OnlyFans. But when you can see literally like 90% of what you're going to be paying $13 a month for, I don't really think that's worth it. I really don't. A large majority of the content on this OnlyFans profile is on Twitter. Girl, mm-mm. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. And we got down to the very first post on July 7th, which was also on Twitter. Hmm. I mean, I'm trying to be really fair here because Dahlia is truly bearing it all, but the problem is that everything is being bared for free on Twitter. Maybe the value here is that you get to connect with Dahlia. She says that she responds to all messages. So that is definitely something you can pay for. If you think that's worth it, drop your $13. Don't get me wrong, the content is but the subscription to see the content that you can already see on Twitter, the girl, that's a rot. That's a rot, rot, rot. Girl, I wanna see some exclusive stuff. That Twitter's fire though. Okay, well that was bust. <laughs> Up next, are you ready for a tall glass of milk? From season six and All Stars 3? <laughs> well, get in line, cause <gasps> that was here first. I'm excited for this profile, but will Milk's OnlyFans provide us enough vitamin D to keep our bones strong? Milk created his OnlyFans profile about two weeks ago now, giving him enough time to post some whole, some content. He announced the profile with a couple of Instagram story posts and then also very subtly on Twitter by retweeting somebody saying, Milky making an OnlyFans account is save 2020. And then Milk retweeted that with the link to the profile. Two days later, Milk tweeted this. I've almost made enough on OnlyFans to book 
book Bianca Del Rio for an hour. LOL. Okay, so we've seen lots of like little subtle advertisements for this OnlyFans profile, but nothing big and direct and in your face, no preview content. I was not able to find a boy profile for Milk. Maybe it exists. If it does, y'all let me know down in the comments below. But overall, I'm like, hmm, this feels like another drag queen trying to cash in on curiosity. The bio of Milk's OnlyFans account does say 18 and up. It also says queer, he, him, will post content throughout the week smiley face, and that you can message Milk for special requests with a dollar sign. So let's go ahead and subscribe for $9.99 and see what we're gonna be getting into. Girl, we can see that people were curious though. 6.3 thousand likes in two weeks, that is a lot. First post. It gets dark so early now. Happy hump day. Well, there's a photo, but there's no humping. It's a blurry photo of Milk laying on a bed in a dimly lit room showing off some butt cheeks. Nothing we haven't seen before on Instagram or Twitter. Damn, I told all people were thirsty for this though. 350 54 likes. I am legitimately shook. This is the most people I've seen on OnlyFans profile ever. This one seriously takes the cake. Or I guess I should say takes the carton. <laughs> Milk, does a body good, makes a wallet fat. There's probably five times as many people on this profile as that one with like almost 500 likes. Y'all got 2,500 people on here subscribed, probably gave Milk $25,000 in her first month, easy. 25K? <gasps> that is disgusting. But more power to you, more power to you. Next one is a photo of Milk in a unitard. That body is insane, but girl, you know people are clicking on this OnlyFans to see the goods. Where are the goods? Cause I subscribed to go shopping, mom. I brought my shopping bag, reusable. You better believe it. I want to be putting some milk in here to take home to feed the children and by children, I mean me. I'm hungry and thirsty and I need some milk. Okay, next one. Hashtag ad, hashtag sponsored on OnlyFans. Girl, are you joking? This is on November 22nd. Or what, Ben and Jerry's mama? Is that what that is? It says tip something for the last 14 seconds of it swirling in the cup. $264 in tips? Girl, what is this? Oh my God, this is filthy. Well, girl, that was real filthy. That was real <laughs> filthy. Okay, I think the ad sponsor thing was a joke. Let's just say that there was an empty ice cream container and Milk decided to put some more cream back in the container, but without showing us where the cream is coming from, if that makes any sense. So that's interesting, it's interesting. So we're seeing some explicit content without directly exposing anything. I'm not gonna demand or whatever require that anybody post anything specific. I'm really just looking for a exclusives for uniqueness. See some interesting interactions. Milk is at least posting like almost every single day. Next one, hey heathens, taking the day to deep clean my pits. Um, ew, we've seen it. Not this photo, it's, it looks exclusive. We haven't seen this photo, but we've seen Milk's body, okay? We know that Milk does body good, we know that. Okay, this next one, what do we got here? Flip your phone, because only fans flip the vid. Okay, we've got another video of Milk showing off that booty. Again, we've got another ab shot, got another photo with no pants on. Girl, wash those socks. Okay, then the very first post, November 15th. Girl, got the money shot right on the mirror. Mama, you gotta clean that later. How are you gonna do that? I know those stores, those stores since the pandemic, they don't have any Windex, they don't have any disinfectants. Now you got your mirror all dirty. Oh girl, you did not just wipe that all over your mirror with your fingers. She nasty, nasty as hell. This is an interesting approach to OnlyFans. Definitely trying to load the profile up front. OnlyFans has stories? This is the first person I've seen is the OnlyFans stories. Eating and washing a banana in the sink. This is almost weird. Of course, Milk is a little weird. You know, she sort of capitalizes on that being a cornerstone of her brand. I didn't expect it like this, really. I. I... <laughs> I went in kind of thinking, oh, this is just gonna be another cash for curiosity thing, whatever. It's not. <sighs> I think there definitely is a market for this. But if you came here expecting to see Milk's strong bones from all that milk that they've been drinking over the year, nowhere to be found, mama. Doesn't exist. You can only see the cream they're pouring into the coffee on multiple occasions, uh, which is fun. I think a lot of people enjoy that, judging by the tips. There is a market for this. I think people will find this interesting. And it's all exclusive. Every post on here I've never seen before. And there's not like giving away anything on Twitter. It's all a surprise, which is fun. I like that little element of, you know, ooh, it's gonna be there. 
I've got to say the amount of posting, the frequency, the exclusiveness, the teasing nature of it is kind of hot. It's kind of hot actually. So I'll let you be the judge. Supporting creators financially is always a personal decision that you should make on your own terms. I'm supported by my patrons. Over on patreon.com slash bussyqueen, you get exclusive member benefits like early access to my videos, personal shout outs, their name and credits, and more. My channel seriously would not be possible without them. And I want to give a special shout out to a queer chaplain, Abby, Adam, Blythe, Anonymity, a world gone mad, Brandon, Catherine, Charlie, Chris, Christopher, Crystal, Curtis, Daniel, Derek, Ed, Elizabeth G, Elizabeth H, Emma, Evelyn, Hannah, it's huge, Ivan, Jake, Jaker, James, Janine, Jen, Juan, June, Kejo, Cario, Kelly, Manny, Matt, Maxwell, Michelle, Michael B, Michael H, Miguel, Onionberry, Oscar B, Oscar D, Peckiums, Peter, Reverend Terry, Rick, Robin, Skyler, Shado, Sinclair, Susan Takosita, Tony, Tyler, Vanessa, Victoria, Zincat, and Midnight19 who are all supporting me at my hot tier. Adori, Bradley, Cameron, Craig, Evan, Glenn, Freddie, Jenny, Kevin, Kiki, and John, Sailor, Shannon, Sky, Sloss World, Sunshine, Tina, and Timotheus who are all supporting me at my hottest hot tier. And Anjo, Aretha, Marty, Mike, Matthew, Nurse Luca, and Tom who were all supporting me at my Bussy Queen Collector tier. Thanks so much for watching today's video and I'll see you guys next time. Love ya. Bye.